Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is going to be a monthly reading for Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Well, the overall energy for this coming month, August 2020. What's going on with you? What's going on with the person, people or situations that are affecting you or surrounding you? What's the overall outcome for the month of August 2020 Pisces if this reading doesn't seem to resonate of course feel free to check out your other placements if there's another sign in particular that you resonate strongly with check out that video as well Ooh, the card wants to move out one more shuffle what is happening with Pisces for August Awesome. I'm going to pull out one more card here for overall advice, which we'll get to at the end of the reading. What is some overall advice for Pisces, please? Advice for the month of August 2020. the end just got the hermit here let's start with the first couple cards here Pisces so we've got the two of swords is the first card that's come out here in your reading for August um, what does this card suggest this card suggests to me a few things firstly that you've probably been going through a period of indecision there's something that you're weighing up in your mind you've tried to sort of go within to really get some clear answers about this situation or about the person you're dealing with but nothing's clear at the moment nothing's clear you're really almost on the fence about something you're not sure exactly how to proceed you may be coming across obstacles roadblocks I get the sense that it's your dealings with someone in particular or your communication with someone that is just leaving you in this sort of standstill energy. I'm getting the vibe. It's like you can't win with this person. And as I said, you're not sure about how to proceed or how to even go about communicating with this person. But I have to say, Pisces, that this is this is a little bit of a procrastination card. You're sitting on the fence. You're not sure about what to do. But as we can see from this card, this woman is sitting here with two swords in her hand. So she's, she's really weighing something up in her mind. She's going back and forth. Um, this is a real... She doesn't have much mental clarity about what's going on in this situation. But she's blindfolded. And her arms are crossed over her chest. But no one is holding her in this position. No one is forcing her to sit here blindfolded. To sit here and literally or, you know, metaphorically be blind to what is going on around her. She's wanting to potentially ignore the reality of a certain situation. And I'm getting the vibe that that's what you've been doing 
or that's how you're coming into the month of August, Pisces. I feel that you are in a very indecisive energy and it's leaving you sort of stuck in a certain position. There's no movement forward, but you yourself are just kind of plodding along, staying in the rut and not really doing anything or taking the initiative to really get out of it. Next card for your energy here is the Queen of Cups. And so because this has come out and just, I'm going to get to the other cards in a moment, but just there is a kind of story that's obviously come through in my mind. Because this Two of Swords has come out with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is also your energy at the moment, Pisces. Queen of Cups is, you know, a wonderfully caring, warm-hearted person. She does keep her emotions not hidden, but she's able to keep a lid on them. She doesn't get emotionally out of control too often. She knows how to control her emotions. But sometimes that can be at the expense of what she wants and what she needs. Now I'm saying she because we've got women in these cards here. Obviously gender does not matter. This can apply to you whether you're male or female. I'm just reading the energies of the cards here. But as I was saying, Queen of Cups can sometimes have the tendency to let things slide, to overlook things, to give people the benefit of the doubt a little bit too often. I think Pisces, leading up to August and during August or early August, you have been giving someone too much of a free pass to get away with something. You're a little bit too accepting of someone else's behavior or attitude, which is not necessarily the right thing for you to be doing. And Again, you are just not sure, quite sure how to proceed with this. You don't like the situation, but you're just dealing with it. You're just sitting on the fence about it. You are just going about your day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day -day routine, and you are letting this person get away with something. Next two cards here are the energy around you. So I'm getting a very, very strong individual here around you. I'm getting the, firstly, the King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or someone with strong earth in their chart. This could be potentially someone you work with because the Pentacles have come out here. Um, maybe a superior at work or something like that. But this person is a very, very strong individual, very stable, has achieved a lot of success success, sorry, and wealth, maybe not even material wealth, but um, you know, has a lot going on in their lives and is managing it all quite well. This person is very well respected. Um, this person's a go-getter. This person is a visionary, has plans for the future, goes out and achieves them. It's a very, very strong individual with a lot of really amazing qualities about them. Unfortunately, with the next card that comes out here, the Seven of Wands, I really get the feeling that this person is very, very defensive about something. I'm not sure exactly what it is because again, we've got pentacles here. It could be a business related thing, but with the overall energy, I am getting more of a relationship um, love type vibe for this reading, but it doesn't have to be. Pisces, I think this person is a lot less emotionally mature than you. 
you're coming across as the Queen of Cups, who is a very sort of emotionally mature individual. She's in touch with her emotions, but she can kind of handle them and not let them get out of control. This person doesn't know how to deal with any sort of emotional or passionate disagreements or criticisms um, you know, or differences in opinion. This person can't handle that very well. This person, their automatic response is to go into defensive mode straight away. You might be coming towards this person with you know, trying to have a genuine conversation about feelings or about, you know, your needs or wants or something like that. And they are just stubborn and immediately get on the defensive. They start to become very defensive because they take what you say as a criticism. It's almost like they're taking it as a personal attack. They can't understand that you're just trying to figure out a way of making this situation better, making improvements. They are just coming at you very, very defensively. And it's annoying and it's frustrating, but it's also annoying because you like this person and you have a lot of respect for this person. So you're letting their behavior slide. You're sitting on the fence, unsure about how to proceed with this because every time you try and make some headway, you just get shut down with their defensiveness and you do not want to get into a stupid argument over nothing. You don't want things to escalate and so you're the one that, again, is the bigger person you know, emotionally is more emotionally mature and you just kind of let things settle down because you don't want it to get too heated or out of control. Couple cards for the outcome here in August. I really like these cards and I'm so happy that the Ace of Wands in particular here has come out in the, as the final card in the outcome position, Pisces, because some good is going to come of this really annoying, frustrating situation, which is great. So we've got here the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Four of Swords speaks about really taking a step back from the situation, taking your energy away from it, conserving your energy it's a time for rest relaxation healing step away step away from whatever drama is here please and just take some time to recuperate and i think you're going to do that because we've seen the progression here from the two of swords to the four of swords the three of swords is in between those two cards that's a card of heartbreak that's what you're trying to avoid so you've gone from this Two of Swords energy, you're like, you know what? I'm just going to pull my energy back from this person. I'm not going to engage too much. I'm just going to take some time for myself and I'm going to really reflect on what it is that I want. I'm going to remove this blindfold that I've been wearing. I'm going to come to the realization that I don't want to keep letting them get away with this stupid petty behavior um i'm really going to take a step back and think about what it actually is that i want i'm going to look at the situation with clarity even though i don't have all the clarity now i'm going to get the clarity and i'm going to come out of this period of time with a bang here ace of wands because the ace of wands has come out in this final um position pisces i do get the vibe that you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Ultimately, the choice is up to you. But I get the vibe that you want a passionate new beginning or there's going to be a passionate new beginning with someone else or in a different sort of scenario. Someone is going to come in and offer you something new. And I love it. And you're going to be open and receptive to that energy because 
you've become unstuck. You're going to achieve the clarity that you need about this person and you're going to be ready for a new beginning. Again, whether that's with this person, things are going to, you know, you're going to have a fresh start here or whether that's with someone else completely, I don't know, but I love this because this is a card of, again, being stuck, letting someone get away with something, moving into, you know what, I'm going to take a step back for myself. I'm going to heal myself, figure out what I want, and then boom, you have figured it out and what's in store for you by the end of August is a passionate new beginning. It's not even necessarily just a card for love and relationships. This could be you know, a new venture that you're getting into, a new opportunity, a new offer in some way. Something new is going to come into your life and it's going to bring that passion, spark, fire, excitement back, which is amazing. It's going to help you get out of this rut that you're stuck in. So I love that. Love it. And final card here, I pulled for just the overall advice and we got the Hermit. I absolutely love the Hermit in this good tarot deck. It's basically, I'm not sure how well it comes across on camera because it's not a very heavily contrasted card, but it's basically a beautiful ornate old door and there are some sort of old school keys hanging up here um, that you can sort of um, pick and choose from, try which one you know fits into the lock and go through the door. So once again, this is a time um, or this is a card indicating that it's a time to pull back, go within, because you've got all the answers within yourself. Any confusion here is really, I feel, um, self-imposed. This person or people or situation that you're dealing with, um, you know what the reality of, situation, of the situation is. So it's time to just step back, get very clear on what you want, and then bam go for your new beginning. All right. Thanks for watching, um, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me grow my channel and produce more of this content for you guys. Thanks so much.